So yeah, um, it is what it is at the end of the day. But you can't, you know, these people don't really um, care about your life and this, that, and this such, but I know I'm not the only one that had took a hit with losing their loved one during this pandemic. I lost my granny, which was like by far the worst experience ever. And, you know, they don't tell you, they don't prepare you for that. Grief is no joke. And um, it is what it is at the end of the day. So you just got to keep pushing and do what you need to do for yourself. But it's basically you can't expect people to treat you any kind of way and treat you with remorse. Because a lot of people, they have a where, you know, they just, you know, move on with their life or whatever. But they hold it in. And that's why you see a lot of people with anxiety attacks right now because they can't manage it, you know, what's happening. And um, it's just a lot going on. So moving out is something else. This is Shin Shin Live. Um, no, I don't have no makeup because I didn't do all of that, but moving out is something else. Like I'm moving out of my apartment. I did all what I was supposed to do, cleaned it out. Um, when you have an apartment, always be considerate of the people that's, um, you know, management. You know, even if anything doesn't turn out right in your favor or whatever, always do right. Because, you know, you know you got missed. But um, a lot of these people, they don't really, they don't really care for people. Um, Yes, this is she. She ain't coming at y'all. Oh my gosh, it's been a day. I feel like I've been drinking all day, but sometimes you need. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm making this huge transition. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. But here at the hotel, chilling, you know, that double tree. Yeah. I was like, let me see what it's looking like, you know. Because people be online. Being mean, talking about this and that. Hi. So, yeah, I like artwork. I would give me some ideas. Everything clean up in here. I'm good. I ain't worried about it. That's my stuff on the floor. I'm just chilling first night um of my new journey so you already know gotta bring out a drink so this is what we're looking like that king size special yeah need all the room because i'm gonna be calling the cows at night and you won't believe it look it is snowing outside look at all that see how deep that is Hopefully, I'll get, be able to get out. If not, I have to take a step another night. But you see how thick that is? Let me just put this like this. It is loaded. So, yeah. It's a sheen sheen over here. Long day. They was like, oh my gosh, you driving through a. What was it? What did they go? A blizzard or something. I'm just like, yo, it is what it is at the end of the day. A snowstorm, hurricane. I'll drive through it. I'll drive through it as long as I know I'm going somewhere doing something. But mm -mm, I ain't trying to kill myself or anything like that. But because I know a few people, I've seen a few where a few people were driving out. And um, during a hurricane, and they actually, they got killed it, as they say, what the children say. But they had um, died only because they went across a bridge. I'm like, ooh, that's the most ooh, scariest thing ever, to cross a bridge. But 
thank you, thank you. I'm actually here. Uh, you know, taking my stuff out of my pocket. So, oh, now my chest is making better. All right. And um, like I said before, this has been a journey for me because losing my grandma. Woo, people just don't understand that they ain't did something to me. Like, oh, that must be a, oh, wait, 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 cause of that, not sugar. something. I'm like, oh no. See, that's the little closet that I should have put on. I didn't even know what it was. I was like, is this a double door? Something. See? And it say glitter, please. It hurts to have someone. Bless me, I ain't did this in a while. And I brought cleaning in the morning but for the most part we got a little couch yeah so for the most part it is something else like uh people don't understand when you lose a loved one during what's going on right now it is no joke and oh uh, i can't believe i'm actually going through this but I kind of felt I was going to be going through something like this. Because sometimes in life, things start happening where you like, I did that. I really did that. And um, it's just crazy. But at the end of the day, you got to start making moves, new moves and stuff like that. And I find that I'm not the only one experiencing this. So it kind of, um, you have to get out and talk to people because that's the best way to start understanding like, wow, I'm not the only person experiencing this. So for the most part, you know, just go and talk to somebody. And sometimes people are not going to understand the word that you say, but it's just like, it is what it is at the end of the day. And, um, you just go forward and go on. Like, um, they said mental health is really big right now. But it's just like, yo, you have to keep yourself at peace. But it's just like, this is um, nothing new for me. But, you know, it's new in a sense that um, my grandmother is gone. And one of the things that really, you know, really got to me was like, I had already planned to return home because I went traveling throughout the United States and stuff like that and I found that you know I went to places and it was just like I just didn't fit there like the energy the vibe wasn't for me like I went to St. Louis I went to Nevada I went to I stayed in New Jersey and then um went to New York I've been to Chicago been to Tennessee been to Illinois where else I been you know, you drive through all the 16 states trying to get to New Jersey. So I did that a few times, but it's just nothing really ever settled with me. And um, for the most part, it's basically, um, yeah, for the most part, you just have to find what works for you. And I was just like, uh, I want to return south, but I don't know how south I want to go. 
And I was just like, okay, let me go to Atlanta. And I was just like, that's where Spirit was leading me to Atlanta. And I was just like, okay, Atlanta. But then it was just like, in order to get into Atlanta, it's all these things going on. Like, so many people doing this and that. Um, you know, there's a lot of scams going on. And you really have to look. Like, I've been looking at a lot of YouTubes and stuff like that. And one of the things that I looked at was... Um, they was like, you know, which neighborhoods not to go into. And I'm just like, which ones to go into. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. And then another thing they were saying that um, a lot of people are not even, you know, mortgaging houses anymore. They're just building houses and renting them out. And I was just like, that kind of sucks. But at the end of the day, it's just like, you know, this society is, is a trip. Like, how do you pay property taxes? You already done bought the house. And your property taxes are really expensive. So when you are not able to pay your property taxes or if you don't want to pay your property taxes or you're just going to take the house after all the money that a person put into. Because like I, what I've been seeing was like a lot of people would buy a house, you know, they would take their savings and take the money that they had to the side, put it into the house and then, you know, may lose their job or something like that. And next thing you know, they basically can't afford to stay there anymore and then here you go here goes a foreclosure and I'm like oh my gosh this is what's going on so I'm like I'm looking at how all these houses are being foreclosed and I'm like there's a lot of homeless people I'm like there's a lot of empty houses where people could have a place to stay but it's just greed on greed on greed and I'm like wow so then I was just like okay I just Pray for everyone that's out there that's going through and experiencing change at this time during this pandemic. And um, I tell you, it's just, it's just weighing on me a little bit, but I really do miss my grandmother. Um, she passed away in April, but it's just like grieving is a process. And, you know, I assist people all day, you know, assist people most of the time you know, through their grieving process, but when you're going through your own grieving process, you be like, ooh, Lord, come get me. Ooh. But I'm here chilling and um, I'm looking on a lot of YouTubes. I love YouTube. And I just I was going to hang out with my friends today, but a snowstorm hit, so I couldn't really go out. It was like, oh, man, I had made plans to go with my friends, so today I would go Hopefully get some coffee and um, might go to the gym. Um, we'll see. We'll see. So, uh, it's so much stuff. And I want to get jazzy too, so I bought my makeup kit. It's been a journey. I really enjoyed New Jersey, but I am a Southern Belle. And it was just only through um, listening to other YouTubers. This one girl, she was younger. She went to school in, I think, New York or New Jersey. And she was just like, mm, I'm going back south. I'm just a Southern Belle. And when she said that, it just, something just clicked in me. I'm just like, yeah, I am a Southern Belle. Like, why am I here? Like, and it was crazy because I went to look for an apartment. Like, I went to get another apartment and from the one that I was already at. And I, I looked, I was just like, oh, no, this is almost like I'm going into the same exact thing I just came out of. I was like, uh, there's no life here for me. I'm like, I spent 10 years here and I'm like, I'm not trying to be... I'm trying to settle down and stuff like that. And I'm trying to, you know, explore and explore my youth as I have it. So I'm just like, yo, I still got time. So I want to do things. And I never see myself, you know, so like isolated. And I was just like, I would try to go to the city. But since this pandemic, can't go to the city. Can't do it. I was just like, I'm not transmitting. Excuse me, y'all. That was a good one. Um, 
Hey, I wanted to go to the city. I was going to run them streets. I was in Philly. I was finding out how to go around Philly. I was doing it up. Then it's it, and they just shut it down. So it is what it is at the end of the day. You got to do something, but that's it. And um, it was nice. My, I went to my friend's house today, and um, I dropped, well, first, I dropped off some planters. I was like, I used to be um, a plant collector, and I was like, wow, I had all those pots. Like, what the world? I was thinking. And then um, I just gave them to my friend. I was just like, she might be mad because I dropped all them pots off at her office. And um, even through the snowstorm, and then... I went to my other friend's house so we could do work on each other. She did my legs. My legs feel better. And um, I was like, oh, my head hurt. Why you ain't do my head? But I told her, I was like, I, already, I was already sleepy because I didn't get any sleep because I was clearing out my apartment. And, man, when I tell you, I was so tired. She was like, usually you go to sleep and you be, you'll be just start yourself and wake back up. This time, you was just out. I was just like, I told you I was tired. So she gave me some energy. Now I'm just like, yay. And my legs are back where they're supposed to be at. Because I was like, oh, my feet hurt. Dancing salsa ain't no joke. Get some new heels. Oh. So it was like, you got to bring them in. I was like, all right. I'll do that. So, so thing you know um yeah I did that worked on her she worked on me and then uh, she had to go back over my head though and I noticed so much tension on my head I was like oh my god so much tension but this is she saying I'm here at the hotel I'm about to go ahead and lay it on down and give me something to drink and call it a day so excited <laughs> so this is Shin Shin over now I'll holla at y'all